some of the specific sectors that we're going to continue to see increased investments, so most certainly power will be number one on the list. Um, not unlike, again, many African countries that are experiencing a great deal of economic growth, uh, the demand for power has far outstripped the supply. And so we're compelled to look again at retooling and re-engineering some of the e existing power infrastructure, but also bringing on stream alternative renewable energy solutions, etc., uh, and ensuring that they're there for the sustainable future uh, of industry, of business, uh, the residential requirements, etc. So we've got very specific targets uh, and policy and legislation to support investing in power. Infrastructure will certainly be number two on the list. Uh, we need to continue to close those ease of doing business gaps. So investments in our port infrastructure, our roads, our railway systems, um, our airport facilities. I, I think anyone who understands how exciting the African continent is recognizes Ghana immediately because we've been able to position ourselves successfully as a hub of access into the rest of West Africa. That's 360 million consumers. And so uh, our ability to get our infrastructure requirements right has been very, very important. Quite recently, uh, the Minister of Finance announced that we were going to be investing some of our very early oil revenues in a Ghana infrastructure fund. Uh, I think that demonstrates the seriousness with it, with which uh, government um, is looking at partnerships uh, between the public sector and the private sector to ensure that we uh, respond to the deficits that we've had in infrastructure. And I think finally, if you look at the agriculture space, um, again, uh, the, historically, we're one of those countries that has a very long history of producing all kinds of cash crops, uh, but the processing and the packaging, which is at the other end of the value chain, has not seen enough in terms of investment. So what we're finding is a lot of interest in investors who are looking at the entire agriculture value chain. So it's production, it's processing, it's packaging, and it's distribution. Uh, and, and that's certainly something we'll be actively promoting. Uh, if you appreciate in economic terms that more than 60% of our population are agrarian farming communities, bringing those small shareholder farming communities into a, a big agriculture business investment is going to be very, very important for us in terms of creating the maximum jobs that are required to address some of our unemployment requirements. So uh, I see those as big areas of, of opportunity for us. Of course, there are several other sectors that I can speak to, but these ones tend to be top priority.